vacation I could finally work on. Yeah. If all we could spend some time watching on your show. Yep, I was humiliated by my grandma in front of a lot of people in that episode. Is that so? Mm hmm. Okay. Hmm. My, my. The hotel is feng shui. Eggman, what are you doing here? What? Can I just have a vacation? I'm taking over the world. Eggman, we all know you'd never take a vacation. Oh. Then I'll just sit down on this bed right over here. Uh, so relax. Do you really think is Eggman is up to something? Mm-hmm. Yep. Alright, I just got done using the bathroom. How did it go? Well... It might be hard for me at first. Not going so good. Very easy at the start of it. Boy, excuse me for who's having the first time in the bathroom at a motel. Every bathroom in the motel looks the same. Not to me it is. Oh my gosh, my gosh, you're such an idiot, Knuckles. I don't blame you. But I don't even make fun of you for being ugly. Whoa, whoa, where did that come from? I am not ugly. Yeah, he's right. Hi, Knuckles, he is not ugly. Whatever. Seriously? Nick Audience making down a monster high in the movie? Why could Mattel just let the franchise die or something? But it did say it's coming on Paramount Plus. But that is a Paramount Plus. No, it's quite expensive, you ask me. Whatever. <sighs> yeah. Oh, the only thing that could make this better is. Uh, I don't know. Really? You know oh, Spongebob and Sonic since the one video where Spongebob got sick. Shadow! No, you're breaking the fourth wall. Oh, my, sorry. Yeah, I was in that video until I was taking a vacation. A two-year vacation. So that's where you were. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> well, at least we got our clothes all piled up. Thanks for that, Freddy. Well, I suppose we head back home, I guess. Mm-hmm. Why? <laughs> It's only a one day vacation. Oh, right. Don't you guys think like we might come back here next time? Relax, Sonic. Only for relax, Sonic. The vacation was only for four days. Yeah, you might have a fair point, but still. I'm gonna miss it. Cheer up, Sonic. At least we'll be back home. Their point. One minute to tell me where. Oh, shoot! No, you very be impatient. You have no idea. Meanwhile, back at the house. So, we meet again, boss right here. For the last time. Not today, sir. <laughs> oh, I love these. Oh. <laughs> hey, father. How's it going? Echo, how's it going? Been doing good, perhaps? Listen, we have a certain problem with the car engine. What happened to it this time? 
It's overheating. It can handle all that kind of heat. Oh, that stinks. So, that means you'll have the whole house to yourself, but keep it clean, okay? Okay, bye. Gotta get this place sorted out quick before my dad drops off. <laughs> This is the place where Ann lives. I'll just start on tearing this place for shit. <laughs> Jeez, I have a lot of mess. Huh? Ah! A kid! Easy target! What the heck is going on? Echo? Ah! Darcy! Aren't you supposed to be on vacation with the rest of them? I may have overslept. What? Echo? Who did you brought in this time? I did bring her in. She just came in here like, like some aced maniac. Wait, why does he look like N for some reason? I don't know. But what if it's she's a stranger? She? Yeah, you couldn't tell by the hair, or in her voice. Oh, can't believe I had a go on permanent marker. What? Permanent markers are not much to be played with, Echo. You should know that. I know that, Foxy. Let's take her back into the room. Oh, come on. <sighs> what? You're not taking her to your room. What choice do I have, Foxy? <sighs> Echo, you're a silly little kid, but you have an ignorant mind. You really don't need so this time, Echo. I know, Foxy, I know. But what if she needs help? Well, did she hear the people before she is on what and unconscious? She said she was rebooting or something. Oh yeah, a reboot. That's a good thing for computers. How's that even good? I don't know. Though. Maybe we can try to wake him up. Uh, okay. I'll give it a try. Oh, I do do that. Oops. Let go! Sorry, I, I was scared, okay? Echo, she's getting up. Huh? Hello, who are you? Oh, I'm, I'm Echo. Echo the Dark Shell. And this is Foxy. What's up, Wes? Hi, Echo. I'm sorry for destroying your house. That's okay. We all tend to make terrible first impressions for each other. Oh, so you hit her the process. Shut up, Foxy. I'm trying to be nice to people here. Er, you don't need to hit me, lad. Sorry, I have issues. Okay, I'll get this place cleaned up. All right with you. <laughs> Echo, you are truly your sim. Shut up, Foxy. <sighs> After our first day of vacation, something goes wrong. Can't believe we had to walk all the way over here. Uh, took, might have took two days for it to, us to get here. Come on, guys, chill out. As long as nothing goes wrong, we'll be all right. Was the glass broken before? Huh? <laughs> Huh? 
Hey guys, how's it going? Terrible. We were just on our way home, but then suddenly the car it just blew up. Huh. Yeah, and my father only told me that. He called you earlier, didn't he? Yep. Okay, and who broke the window? Oh yeah, that reminds me. Some of this came over here because someone one reminds us of Anne. Wait, you don't mean... Oh, hi, Anne. How's it going? <laughs> but... V? So V is her name? That makes a lot of sense. Yeah, every assembly one is named after every alphabet. Yeah, I didn't ask. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, sounds like somebody has a crush on me. Hey! Ow! Whoa, then! What the heck? Sorry, I have some problems. And if you have a crush on me, just spend some time, time with her. Me, she'll love you back. Okay. V, would you like to spend some time with me? Sure! I love spending time with you and your lovely home. Huh. <laughs> Thanks for the help. Thanks for the help, Oxy. You're welcome, man. So, how do you know? And it's a crush on me. It's a long story. Bye.